Good boy, Jake. There's the poo poo. Hi, poo poo. Good morning, everybody. It's Amber with the Hormone Hack. Just doing my morning walk with Jake. So, I wanted to get on here today and just talk to you briefly about how to not let stress ruin your fat burning during the holiday. And the truth of the matter of all this is, is that stress can be your biggest culprit for blood pressure, blood sugar issues, cholesterol. Sometimes it's not even just the food alone, it's stress. When stress increases your cortisol, which is your, stre your stress hormone, when that goes up, it really messes everything up. It stops fat burning, it um, uh, hardens your arteries over time. It's, stress is bad. Stress can cause different cancers sometimes too. It's just stress in the body. So that being said, I know that the holidays can be a stressful time. You got everybody together, everybody's got their own agendas on things and what they want to do and this and that and the other. And I know that it's a time that if you are working on your eating and you're trying to stick with your plan, that it can get thrown off. So here's the best things you can do uh, for Christmas to get your fat burning not so far off track. And number one is, here's a good tip, if you are someone who works out and likes to exercise, um, that can be added stress, but if you strategically exercise, say first thing in the morning, say after you have your coffee or your tea or whatever you're doing, if you do it first thing in the morning and get it done and wait for your body to come down off of the adrenaline and all of, all of that uh, stuff, then eat, you're gonna be better off. If you eat, and then think you're gonna go exercise, um, you're gonna put a lot of added stress on your body and your body's not gonna wanna do anything. So make sure you do your exercise first thing in the morning, get it done out of the way, and then just be done with it. And then let your body come back to resting before you eat. Come on, Jake, let's go this way. I'm walking the old poo-poo this morning. Number two, if you can do all of your eating in one setting for the day, and if, and I know, you know, you can't control what people, what people bring and how you're going to eat, but you can go ahead and just put it all in one eating window. So if you can wait, hey, Tammy, Merry Christmas, Tammy. If you can put it all in one window, say you could wait till like early afternoon um, to eat after you get your exercise done in the morning and then just forget about, you know, whatever. If it's just out of your control, it's just out of your control. Go ahead and just eat in that one window and be done and eat to your satisfied or eat to your full and then just be done. Don't be grazing throughout the day on stuff, although I know it's easy to do. And that'll just keep the minimal stress on your body and you won't set yourself back. So, you know, I had to deal with it this week on, on what I do. And when I say deal, it's not really that I had to deal with it. It's just we had family come into town and they stayed here for a week. And I had four little kids running around and I'm the first to tell you it threw me for a loop uh, for a whole week and I totally got off my normal eating I, I found myself eating in old patterns that I mean I hadn't eaten in in probably four years and I fell back into it you know I was adding creamer to my coffee and I started eating at like you know halfway through the morning and it was just you know not what I usually do and so this went on for a week I mean they were here for seven days and I am not beating myself up. I actually just didn't exercise. Took my time off on exercise because I didn't need to add to the stress that I was already putting on my body with the additives and preservatives. So I was aware, I didn't get upset about it, but I will say today, um, I am going to the grocery store today and I needed to go a week ago, but I just couldn't get there. And I knew that with family coming in, let's, we're just gonna, we're all gonna go on vacation. And that's kind of what we did. And. Um, I actually feel fine. I just am getting back on track today. I'm going to intermittent fast. I'm going to pick up where I left off. So, you know, when you do keto and things, you've got to wait three to three weeks sometimes to get in ketosis. That's why I love what I teach is just you just pick up where you where you left off. Jake's back at the cabin where they were staying because we were cooking steaks on the grill and he was getting the, the leftovers. So, but you know, these are just some tips you can do. So make sure you exercise first thing in the morning if you're gonna exercise. Make sure you wait for your body to come down from that um, before you eat. Make sure that you are going to be in your eating window when you go ahead and do eat. 
and then just enjoy your family and don't stress out over it. You can pick up where you left off and that's what I'm doing. It's been seven days. I'm picking up where I left off. Um, yeah, I feel a little bit uncomfortable and I feel bloated and but I also know too that um, I know exactly what I do need to do to get back on track. It's not going to take me long and we're going to just move on and keep on going. So I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and Jay, come on. Hey, come on. And I hope you guys enjoy your friends and family this holiday season. And I'll probably see you on the next video. I'll probably hop on tomorrow. We've had rain here, so I haven't had uh, an opportunity to really get on without getting out of the camper. And it was hitting the camper pretty hard. So it was just kind of loud. So anyway, happy, happy Monday. Merry Christmas. I'll see you on the next video.